Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Jordan and I'm here to do a general tarot card reading for the Pisces Collective. This reading is general, that means it may or may not resonate with you. If you find this video doesn't fit your story after a couple of minutes, I recommend checking out another reading on my channel with a title that stands out to you. You know, there was a reason why you clicked on this video today and it may lead you to the message you're looking for if you take time to explore my channel. A little bit further. Uh, we're going to get started today by pulling some fortune telling Kipper cards just to see if we can get a theme running with, with our reading and then we'll jump into a 10 card tarot spread using the Mystic Mondays tarot. Uh, I just want to say thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting below and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all of your love and support and uh, yeah I'm just gonna let my cat out of the room before we get started. Her name is Lola. She insists on following me everywhere I go, but then doesn't like being stuck in the room <laughs> when I shoot these videos. High maintenance, eh? <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on for the Pisces Collective. So our first Kipper card today is the, uh, ooh, the bad health card. So something might be negatively impacting your health. Or maybe you've gone through bad health in the past. We also have thoughts. Health can pertain to our mental health as well, especially with the thoughts card coming through. Oh, that's too many cards. We also have official person coming through. So an official person usually represents somebody who's in uniform, representing the law or enforcement. Um, can represent, a, you know, the authority. Uh, okay. Interesting. Maybe some of you have a military background and, and end up having to leave the military because of some type of health condition or tried to apply for the military and realized it wasn't going to work out. That might be something that you've gone through as well. I'm just going to split the deck. Underneath the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords. Okay, so if we split the deck, we've got Ten of Wands and the Tower reversed. Something's been a very heavy burden for you. Maybe it's been your health. Maybe it's been an overwhelming amount of thoughts towards somebody that you care about who's got some poor health. Um, we do have an official person here who might be delivering news or might be giving you an update or giving your person an update on their health situation. Maybe it's a doctor, a nurse, um, could be a mailman delivering post. With the tower reversed here, it is saying that something is unstable, some, you know, and, uh, you know, you've been carrying a burden or you, you've been carrying this weight for a long time now and, uh, or maybe even a short period of time, but it's not meant to last. It's not meant to be a burden for you to carry very long. It can't be, it's like it's too heavy, you know? So something's got to shift. We have the Five of Swords and we have the Emperor reversed. This is when we feel like our, our mind, our thoughts are not in control. Um... We've got different opinions coming left, right, and center from different people, different ideas, different perspectives, and we don't know which one to choose. We don't know who to believe in. A 
All right, let's see what the current moment has for in store for what, what I'm stumbling over my words. Let's see what the current moment has in store for Pisces. We have the Page of Wands reversed. We have the World card influencing that card. In the center of the reading, we have the Six of Wands reversed. In the recent past, we have the Death reversed. We have the Temperance card in the distant past. In the future is the Magician. We have the Six of Swords representing you. We have the Knight of Cups in the environment position. We have the Five of Cups reverse in your recent, or sorry, in your fears and desires position. And we have the Seven of Swords reverse as the outcome. We have the Queen of Wands reverse underneath the bottom of the deck. What I'm getting here is that in the recent past, Pisces, Recent can be a long time ago, but you know it's it's the, it's part of the past that shaped you most recently. It's one of the most recent uh, major life events you may have gone through, where you may have been you may have brushed very close with death. You may have had a near death experience. You may have been very ill, or uh, maybe you saw a family member or a friend become very ill, and uh, since that time. I'm not sure if that family member or friend has passed on um, or if they've gotten better or I don't know how much better you've gotten since that time, but it's been a very transformative process is what I'm hearing. There has been healing with the temperance card here, but there might be a need for medication. There might be a need for counseling or for rehabilitation and, and uh, assistance getting back into the flow of of day-to-day -day living and maybe that has been a part of your story for quite some time. What I see here in the current moment is that some type of ability that you once had before this near-death experience or this bad health experience that you had, you might not have that opportunity anymore. You might not have that ability anymore. Sometimes um, our limitations, we, we gain limitations with health situations, physical limitations, maybe even mental, emotional limitations. Um, and uh, this may feel like it's closed off uh, opportunities for you in this world. You may feel like you've lost out on something important, um, a, a, a stepping stone towards your success even. And say, for example, if this was like a loved one or a pa you know who's passed on, or maybe it's someone who you watch go through a, a very heavy, you know, health battle, and it's put on a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. It's almost as if that situation, whether it happened to you or to a person you care about, has um, really changed the way you have to think about going about your opportunities, and it hasn't been easy. I feel like you've been going with the flow the best way that you can. And I want you to take a moment and think back from that time until now and look at the miracles that you've seen happen at every step of the way. They may not have been big miracles. They may have been little little wins here and there, uh, you know, gaining mobility back, gaining mental health back, or seeing somebody gain abilities back. Um, and uh, just know that your manifestation power is strong and your person's manifestation power is strong. And uh, you've been manifesting the right steps, the right uh, progress up until now. And uh, 
for a lot of you in the environment position, we have this Knight of Cups. This is someone here who could represent a romantic offer or someone who you already are in a romantic relationship with. And um, it may seem like you missed out on an opportunity to be with this person, whether you've known them or this is a completely new person. Up until this point, because of the health situation, the health crisis you went through, whether it's directly you or somebody else close to you. Um, and now in the current moment, there's someone here who wants to um, enter your life and be part of your life. I do feel like you're not as enthusiastic about this as, um, or you might not have the most positive perspective on love and the timing of love in this dynamic for you because you are still trying to process what has happened for you. You're still trying to regain what you've lost. You're still trying to work within your new limitations, um, the, your new responsibilities even. And uh, I do feel like you, you do have a positive attitude towards life. I do feel like you have a lot that you could be grieving and there is a lot to grieve. Um, that past life that you had with your person or that past life that you had with your, you know, previous health before things went downhill. Um, your instincts with this person might be to run away, might be to push them aside, might be to escape love because there might be a lack, like a, a lack of deserving. Maybe you feel like you don't deserve this love or maybe you feel like you cause a burden to this person or that you're not ready for this type of love. Well, I just want to say that you've manifested this at the perfect time. Um, it, you're, it's meant to be uncomfortable. You're meant to be emotional and fragile when this love comes into your life or it becomes more part of your life. And this person's, you know, um, whether you're just meeting them or whether you've been with them for some time, they're not going anywhere. You know, they are committed to you. They understand your health. They understand your um, uh, unique situation. And they see your beauty. Even if you don't see your uniqueness and your beauty yourself, maybe you only see your limitations as this Queen of Wands reversed. Um, but you are heading places, and this person knows that. They know that you're heading in a successful direction because you've been successful along your healing journey, even if you've had ups and downs. Um, if we look at the individual card pairings, we have the Page of Wands reversed and the Magician. The Page of Wands is like a beginner, a novice, when it comes to manifesting, and the Magician is like the master, the person who... Um, has all the tools at their disposal and knows how to use them, knows higher knowledge, knows how the universe works. Right now in the current moment, you may be feeling like you've only seen small manifestations come into your life. You know, small progress, little, little wins here and there, but um, you haven't accomplished what it is that you wanted to accomplish fully. And to you, this means you're not a good manifester. But really, you know, what you're, what you're not seeing is that you're shaping the world around you with your positive intentions and your positive attitude. And uh, the more optimistic, the more um, excited, and the, the more you believe in yourself, the more that the world is going to continue to shape into your reality. And uh, with the World card and the Six of Swords here, um, and I do see you becoming more like better and better at manifesting as time goes along. You're going to see bigger manifestations come in. All right, with the World and the Six of Swords here, that talks about travel sometimes. Maybe you've had to travel a long distance in order to complete your healing process. Um, maybe your mind had to go had to be stretched, you know, a great distance as well. Uh, the Six of Swords can talk about the struggles we've gone through and how we've moved forward from them. And this could have been a massive undertaking for a lot of you. We saw that Ten of Wands earlier, 
and the world card is similar to that energy. Um, it just shows that you've completed a major chapter in your life. And um, the next part of your chapter is going to be manifesting what you want next. Whether it is fully conquering a health situation or, f you know, fully realizing your new potential that you have. Because you have been growing since this poor health situation or this poor health of your friend situation. And... Um, They've been growing as well, if there's another person involved here. New worlds are opening up for you and your person. So we have the Six of Wands. And the, the Six of Swords does talk about traveling to new worlds. Because it, it, it traditionally it's an imagery of the the under, you know, the underworld god Charon, the uh, fairy man who ferries dead people from one side of the river Styx in Greek mythology to the underworld where they can face judgment and see what their afterlife is going to be. And he's like an immortal ferryman, and he, he takes people across. And and uh, anyway, that's the imagery that's depicted in the traditional tarot deck. He's going from one world to another. And it's interesting that we have the world card above it. So it's it kind of highlights that the beauty of that story. Um, you're 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 entering into a whole new phase of your life. Um, the six of wands reversed and the knight of cups reversed uh, indicates that you might not have the confidence, or maybe even the sense of self-deserving when it comes to love. Maybe you feel like you've failed in some ways or you're failing when it comes to your partner or potential partners, like you can't contribute the same way that they can or that you've got some type of shortcoming. The Knight of Cups here is somebody who really believes in you, somebody who's in love with you. It's a beautiful connection and this might be coming up for you in the next six weeks, six months. Um, for those of you who are looking for a time frame, some of you may already be in this relationship. The Death Reversed and the Five of Cups Reversed talks about the transformation we've gone through. I was interpreting the Death card as a near-death experience earlier, and the Five of Cups Reversed can definitely talk about the grief that's associated with losing that part of ourselves, because we do lose a part of ourselves during transformation processes. And... Um, you know, but the fact that both these cards are reversed is showing that you're still undergoing this emotional transformation. And there still is healing that's happening. We have the temperance card here, which indicates that a lot of healing has been done surrounding this light major life event that you've gone through. And um, that you might still need assistance, support, medication, um, accommodations. Uh, you still need the health care system in some way. Uh, the Seven of Swords of Verse is kind of speaking like saying like don't run away from the support. Don't run away from the support of a lover as well if there's a lover in your life uh, with that Knight of Cups. Um, and uh, this isn't about you manifesting a backup plan for your new life because your old life failed. This is about creating a whole new life, creating a whole new pathway. It isn't about creating a plan B, it's about creating the new plan. So um, sometimes the Seven of Swords is plan B, plan C, you know, the backup plan or the, or the, or the backup backup plan. But really you want to be manifesting the, you know, what you want moving forward. Um, even with limitations on your health. Okay, well, that's what I've got for your reading. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you again soon.